Hello, my name is David Lindberg and today I released my new color grading pack ProLat which I'm really excited to show you today and how you can use it inside of Premiere Pro because um, ProLat is basically like a pack of, um, of looks based on real films and popular movies so they're all from existing films um, and I really think they look good and uh, I hope you will enjoy this pack uh, as well so all the different presets comes in a lot of different formats so that means it doesn't matter if you want to use them in like Dimension Resolve as power grades or as 3D LUT or if you want to use them in After Effects or Speed Grid or Final Cut Pro because um, these will work in like all different softwares out there so that's a pretty good thing about this pack uh, but today I'm going to show you how you can use it in Premiere so I have uh, this uh, this footage here from my friend Sean McLeod, or McLeod. I still don't know how to pronounce that name, but I think he will. I hope he will forgive me. Um, but yeah, this is a really beautiful scene. But I want to see how it looks with my uh, looks applied. So, and as you can see, it's really contrasty and saturated footage because I based all my looks on um, on um, footage from like. Uh, these are our cameras. So if you're using like a 5D or a T2I um, These looks are actually based on that format. So uh, so that's a good thing if you're Because um, I know maybe all of you don't use like the red camera or Alexa So but let's say you have used your red camera or Alexa and you have really flat footage like this because this uh, shot is actually um, originally from an Alexa so I'm gonna show you how you can use it in um, even if you have like this really flat footage but uh, let's start with this one so you wanna right click here and choose adjustment layer and just drag this on top of your footage go into effects and type lumetry and add this to the adjustment layer and go into your ProLat folder and you can use whatever format you want to here um, Probably, but uh, I think the speed reader for um, formats works really good, so I'm gonna go with that for uh, this time. Um, I'm gonna choose something like the um, Hobbit one, and just like that, you have a really cool look applied on your shot. And I think this looks really cool, um, and it's really simple. We did this in just a few simple clicks. Uh, but let's say that you want to uh, customize your footage because you think maybe the shadows are too dark Then you just go to your footage and type um, I think the curves effect is really good uh, for this case So I'm just gonna raise the shadows here and then we can watch again And as you can see we have um, Recovered some of the information in the shadows so that's a good thing because the presets will always always work differently on different footage uh, depending on how much contrast you have or, or how dark it is or how bright it is so i think it's a good thing to go into your footage and adjust it so that the presets will look the way you want it to because they will all look different on different footage um, but uh, let's take this way and try another look we can try Something. Oh, sorry. Uh, you go into your lumetry effect and uh, click on this button here. Um, and you can we can try something from the three hundred film. And um, yeah, this looks cool as well. Uh, let's say you think it's too much. You want to you want to uh, have like seventy percent of this um, effect. Then you just go into your opacity, uncheck this clock here, and type this to 70, or whatever you think looks best. You can go with something like 80, maybe. And on the adjustment layer, not on your footage, of course. Um, and let's see here. This is with uh, 100%. This is with somewhat reduced effect. Okay, so that's cool. Um, we can try something else, we can make this 100 again and go into something darker. We can probably take Planet of the Apes, Mr. Forest. So, 
As you can see here, we have a really dark look and uh, when it's dark, uh, the colors are also supposed to be less saturated because there are less light. So what you want to do is to, you can use, you can probably do this a lot of different ways, but I think this is a good way to do it. Just gonna add a tint effect on your footage and slide this to something like, I don't know what looks good, but maybe 42. Um, so let's see here. If I toggle this on and off, this is without the tint effect. This is with the tint effect. And I think this looks way more natural and realistic. But okay, let's say you've used like a red camera or Alexa or maybe just CineStyle with your DSLR camera. And then uh, I would, re and it looks something like this, but like really flat and unsaturated. Then I would, if you've shot with your red camera, I would actually recommend you to go to your source settings and uh, set the gamma curve to red gamma 3 or 4, and it will look kind of the same as DSLR camera or something like I've, I had here uh, in terms of contrast and saturation. Um, but if your footage looks something like this, then I would recommend you to, or actually you'll have to add um, the curves effect manually. Um, you can make something like this. I would go pretty extreme on this one, something like that. And now if I, I'm just gonna take this letterbox here as well. And if I, we want to try another look as well. I'm gonna go to something like the Godzilla one. And if I take this look on my footage now, you will see that it looks pretty good. Uh, we can probably adjust the curves a little bit, something like this like that. So if I toggle the curves effect on and off, you can see that it makes a lot of a difference here. Um, but also the colors are saturated, so what you want to do is to, you want to have like an effect that can boost the saturation. So I'm gonna add this effect here, go to saturation and boost the master saturation to something like, yeah, 164. Uh, so if I toggle this on and off, you won't see that much of a difference, but I think it's still making the footage look uh, much better. So, yeah, that's how we can use my color grading pack, both with um, on really flat footage, but also on your DSLR footage. So thank you for watching, and I hope you will enjoy this pack. Thank you.